Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Publer. My name is Jorgo and today we are going to see how to use TikTok on Publer. We're going to see how to first connect your TikTok account to Publer, then how to schedule videos to that TikTok account, and then how to use some of the features on Publer so that you can supercharge your TikTok content and remain constantly active on that social network. So without further ado, let's just go to accounts right here click on add account and then click on TikTok. We're going to be asked to authorize and give Publer access, so simply click on authorize. That way Publer has the necessary access to connect to this account. Now I've already connected to it, so it's already marked, but otherwise simply click to it and you will be able to connect to it. Let's go back to accounts and create page. Now we should be able to see the TikTok account show up on Publer and from here we can select and drag and drop media as you can see. This is where you would go to to upload your videos. So let's select the video. I already have my video ready here. It's the cat video in the media library. I can choose to give it a label here. So let's call this cats of TikTok. This is simply for my personal purpose so that I can keep track of the posts and you know organize them better then at the bottom here you'll see a few uh, options which not all of them are possible with TikTok but you can use the auto share option which as you know is going to allow you to share this video as a link to other social networks so let's say you want to share this to LinkedIn or you want to share this to Facebook since it's a little bit more entertaining um, you can choose to share it after a delay add some words video, um, add hashtags and so on. That's up to you and you can share it let's say even an hour after this post has been shared to TikTok. So I'm going to click on save. Great and that will make sure that the video is auto shared to the specific network. So we can also take a look at how this video will be previewed. So if I click on preview it will show me what this video will look like on TikTok. So there you go. Um, now, if I want to schedule this video, I would simply go to schedule, but there's a few modes you can choose. You can choose schedule, auto schedule, recycle, recurring. Let's go with auto schedule so that we can take a look at the posting schedule that we have in place. I already have a posting schedule for TikTok and I use the posting schedule because I want to make sure that I have a consistent presence on TikTok. That helps me have videos for each days, each of the days when I want to have videos. For example, I know that my audience is very active on Wednesdays and Fridays. So I have time slots for those days specifically. So in that case, what I do is I simply go and choose auto schedule and then just push my video so that it goes out for that posting schedule. Um, we will take care of the rest. You simply create the video and choose the label and it will be scheduled accordingly based on which one is the earliest available time slot. And if I click on schedule, that video is going to be scheduled automatically. So that's it, you're done. Now the only thing you need to keep in mind is that you're going to be getting a notification in your phone when this video is ready. When that notification is clicked, it's going to take you to TikTok where you can finish scheduling your video and then post it. So let's go through those steps right now. As you can see, you will get two notifications. Simply click on the first notification where it says your video is ready. Then click on the first one again, your video from Publer is ready. And here you will be able to edit the video, crop it, shorten it. So click on next if you don't want to do that. Here you will be able to add any elements that you like. For example, you can apply an effect like I'm doing right now. You can add text after that. So start typing something. Um, and then after that, you can follow up with emojis or you can follow up with other elements like icons or GIFs and anything else. Um, make sure that you finalize your video, then after that click on next and at the end here you can select to have any type of text that you want. You can add uh, questions or call to actions or just something cute like who else loves having a cat. Um, you can add hashtags after that. To add the hashtag simply click on hashtags and then a hashtag icon will appear where you can start typing. For example cats of TikTok. You can also mention accounts. So let me delete Publer here and then click on mention. Then after that, I will be able to mention an account. Let's mention Publer, for example. And at the end, once your post is ready, just click on post. And as soon as it's done, you will be able to see it. 
So that's all you need to know when it comes to scheduling TikTok videos. Just a few easy steps. Make sure you don't miss the notification, which will be sent to your mobile device once the video is ready to be published. So for the specific day that you decided to schedule it for. Some other things you can keep in mind with TikTok and what you need to use um, is the analytics. I think it's very helpful to keep track of your videos, how they're performing, and see how many people are liking or engaging with them. That helps you have a better idea of where you stand so that you can take notes and then perform better next time. And lastly, also drafts. So if you have a draft for a specific account, let's not select TikTok here, but let's say I wanna create a draft post I'm going to have my draft content here, add hashtags, and so on. When the time comes for this video to be posted, I can simply access this from my phone, copy the content that I have saved right here, and then paste that content on the video in TikTok while I'm finalizing it. It's also very helpful if you don't want to have to think on the spot what kind of caption you want to have for your TikTok videos. So that's it. When it comes to TikTok on Poplar, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let us know in the comments below if you have any more questions, um, if you, there's anything else you would like to know or what the next feature you would like to see on our YouTube channel is. Thank you, happy holidays and goodbye.